Hey there YouTube, Brenda Petrella here. And before we begin today's video, I first wanted to thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. This week we passed a thousand subscribers. Just amazing. So thank you, it's really exciting. I love hearing from you in the comments below. Some of you have reached out to me over email and Instagram, and it's just great to hear from you, so thanks. So today's video is going to be an answer to a subscriber question, which was, what camera bag do I use when I go out and do my landscape photography? And it's a great question because I actually don't use a camera bag. The reason for that is because maybe you've noticed in my other videos, I'm pretty short and so it's actually pretty challenging for me to find a camera bag that fits my back. Um, I find them very boxy and the shoulder straps tend to not be all that comfortable for me. And so what I've done instead is I've taken a regular day pack and I've converted it into a camera bag. And so I'm gonna show you how I did that today and I'm going to unpack my bag so that you can see what I normally bring out with me on a typical day hike when I'm doing landscape photography. Okay, so the bag that I'm using is called an Osprey Stratus 34 liter pack. And the reason why I like this pack is a number of different things. One, there's tons of pockets everywhere and there's tons of straps and cinching systems and loops and things for you to attach gear to on the outside of your, of your pack in case you need to. So if we start here at the bottom, there are these two little straps that are holding on my tripod. And the tripod that I'm using these days for hiking is this Gitzo GT1542T. It's a one of the part of their travel series tripods. It's a carbon tripod, it's super durable but lightweight. And I'm also using the Really Right Stuff BH40 ball head. I like this ball head a lot. It's really tough and durable. It is a little heavy, but together this is about three and a half pounds or so. The outside of the pack has these little mesh side pockets with cinch, and so I have a water bottle that I bring along. I often will bring a couple of carabiners in case I want to attach my microspikes or anything like that, any extra gear that I'm bringing along with me. My other side pocket here, I like to have my filter nest easily accessible. So this is a little case from Mindshift, and inside here I have all my filters that I might use while I'm out shooting. These are circular filters. I am thinking of getting some square filters soon, but this is what I'm using currently. Okay, so let's start at the very bottom of the pack. So if we open the bottom here, it comes with its own little rain cover. So this way, if you're at, caught out in the rain, you can slip that over your pack and everything will remain waterproof. And I have been in absolute downpours with this and, um, and it has protected my gear just fine. Just above that little pocket is bigger pocket. And in here, I like to keep my own rain jacket. Um, this is a super lightweight rain jacket from Outdoor Research. Um, it's not going to protect you from anything in cold weather, but it will protect you from rain and it's super lightweight and packable. And so it, this just lives in my bag all the time. The other thing that lives in my bag all the time, and this might be a bit of overkill um, these days, but I have this InReach DeLorme satellite communicator, and I purchased this last year because I was going to be traveling in the subarctic in the Yukon in winter by myself, and this seemed like some cheap insurance to take along with me in case I ran into a situation where I was stuck out in super frigid weather. And it was damn cold <laughs> when I was there. But anyway, so I have it already. And so I just bring it with me because I do do a lot of hiking alone. So another thing that I really love about this backpack is this mesh back that it has. It actually keeps the back of the backpack off of your back. And there, so there's like an air cushion between you and the backpack. And that allows your back to breathe, especially if you're sweating a lot when you're hiking. I find that these shoulder straps are super comfortable. They're adjustable both at the top and at the base. And then at the bottom here is this padded waist strap, which I find very comfortable. And it also has this adjustable waist belt. And then on either side of your waist belt are these pockets. And so I usually stuff keys or like a phone or something in there. And on the other side, another thing that always lives in my backpack is a little rocket blower for in case of dust and a little emergency um, wool hat. It's very lightweight, packable. Top here, I have this little tripod multi-tool. It's from Three-Legged Thing and it's 
super handy because it has this little carabiner top so I can just clip it to the outside. If I need to make any adjustments to my tripod or anything, I have that little hexagonal tool there and on this side is more like a little screwdriver. And a subscriber pointed out to me that it can actually be used as a bottle opener in a pinch, so that is super handy to know. Here we go to the top of the pack. In the front here is this smaller pocket. And in here, I like to keep some snacks, hand warmers. I always keep these on me because they're super useful for things even outside of keeping your hands warm. Little alcohol wipes for when my lenses get dirty, along with the lens cloth. And then in my video, how to protect your gear in bad weather, I talk about this little rain jacket for your camera. And it's basically just a glorified plastic bag, but it, it conforms to the shape of your camera and uh, it's very lightweight and packable. So again, this never leaves my bag. Okay, in the back here, we have a larger pocket. And in here, I like to keep a couple of accessories. So I usually bring along a 1.4x teleconverter just to give a little extra reach. It's very lightweight and it certainly is lighter than bringing another lens if I can avoid it. A uh, little GoPro. This is my uh, shutter release cable and remote. It's a wireless system, which I like. It's good for selfies. Microfiber cloth. Uh, I talked about this in my how to protect your gear video as well. It's a great way for drying off your camera when it gets wet. And so in here is just my little baggie that I like to keep um, extra accessories in, such as extra batteries, extra SD cards, and another lens cloth or two. So this is how I convert a regular day pack into a camera bag. I have in here this insert that just fits perfectly into the belly of this bag. This insert is from MindShift and it is a, cam a padded camera protection insert. It opens here at the top and so since this is a top loading bag that works out really well for me. But if you have a bag that opens, the belly opens here, you can also open it this way. What I have in here on a typical hike is my D810 with a 24 to 70 lens. I find this to be the most versatile lens for landscape photography. If I'm only going to take one lens, this is the lens. I shoot with a Nikon D810 right now. This is a three-legged thing L bracket. What I really like about this L bracket is that it's not super expensive. It's a universal bracket, but it fits my camera perfectly. I also, I'm pretty fond of orange, <laughs> as you may have noticed. And uh, so I kind of like the look. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, and this is my current favorite camera strap. It's called the Leash. It's from Peak Design. What I like about it is it's really um, light and doesn't get in the way. You can detach it from your camera very quickly with these little clips that clip to your camera. Inside here, I have these two sections. I just pop over to the second section and pull out my 70 to 300 lens. It's a Nikon. It's not the sharpest lens out there, but for being a telephoto lens, it's actually pretty lightweight. And so for hiking, if I think I'm going to be doing any sort of intimate landscape shots or potential for wildlife, then I like to have this along but I wouldn't recommend it as a wildlife lens. Now, if I did want to go out and do some wildlife photography, then I take along this honking beast, which is a Sigma 50 to 500 telephoto lens. The thing is like four and a half pounds. So it's really heavy to hike with. And so I typically do not hike with this, but I can still pack it in my day pack if I am going to go out and do some wildlife photography. It fits into this little thing just fine even when a camera body is attached. So I just wanted to point that out. And then lastly, the other thing that I often bring along with me on hikes, especially if I'm gonna be doing some time lapses, is this Movo panoramic time lapse head. And I did a review on this. You can check it out over here. Um, it's a very simple device that attaches to your tripod and basically spins your camera as it's doing a time lapse. And so it's a way to add some motion to your time lapse without having to have like a huge slider rig system. And um, again, it's small and compact and it fits into the bag, no problem. And that's really it, guys. So let me know if you have any questions. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. 
Say hi to me over on Instagram or drop me an email. Be sure to tune in to my part two of my Milky Way series that should be coming out sometime next week. And if you haven't seen part one of the series, definitely check it out. We're just at the start of Milky Way season right now. And in that video, I go over how to plan for a Milky Way photo. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.